This episode of Friday Night Nogi is brought to you by Nogi Industries, creators of the world's most durable fight shorts, like the all-new Phantom 3.0, for a limited time available in Arctic White. For more info, visit nogi.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Friday Night Nogi. I'm Budo Jake, and here's my buddy Dane to help us out tonight. Tonight I wanted to go over the double underhooks guard pass and a counter to that guard pass. So starting out, this is a pass usually from open guard when you can get both elbows in, circling around your partner's hips and cupping right above his hip line right here. Now Dane's movement comes from keeping his hips or his sacrum on the ground. He moves side to side a lot from here. So we have to take away his mobility. We're gonna do that by getting an even deeper grip, a gable grip, and sucking him up, pulling him on top of your hips. Now, since he's on top of me, he has no more hip mobility. My elbows are closed tight. He's trying to move side to side. He barely moves at all. So we've taken away his mobility. Now it's time to smash. My one hand is gonna to reach towards his collar. As I lean forward, I'm gonna put my hand on his opposite shoulder. My other hand is going to go to his sacrum and lift up. I'm pressuring in. I'm on my toes, not on my knees. I'm driving, driving, driving. And his foot goes in front of my face, and we secure the guard pass. The feeling for the guy in the bottom is it's a relief when the pass finally happens. It should be very uncomfortable. So again, we don't want to reach just one hand under. We're going to reach both under at the same time, cupping the hips, pulling him up, getting a deeper grip, making this nice and tight, reaching for the opposite shoulder as we lean in. His hips are still off the ground. I don't want any space here. If I start to cut the corner and there's space here, Dane drops his knee, and now I'm dealing with his guard again. So his hips are off the ground. I'm leaning in, my hands on his sacrum. I'm lifting him up. I come off of my knee, my toes are on the ground, and we cut the corner, making a nice, tight guard pass. So now let's take a look at what the guy on the bottom can do. So we're gonna go on the offense as I'm in this bad position. This is never a position I would put myself in, but if I found myself here, of course there's things you can do to prevent the pass. But now let's just take a look at one option where you can go on the offense. So Dane wants to pull me my hips up on top of his. I don't want that to happen, so let's go back. First things first, I'm gonna keep my heels heavy. I'm gonna put my hands on his knees, creating some space here. Now I'm gonna bring my leg across and my hand across his chest. I'm gonna close off all the space between my knee and his ear, and I'm gonna grab my ankle as, up, as high up on my leg as I can. And I'm gonna close the triangle and squeeze. That other hand can come to the back of the neck, and we have a no arm triangle. So people used to only think that triangles could be done with the arm in. It wasn't until I saw Homo Bahal do this at a tournament, I don't remember if it was the Pans or Worlds, but. Everybody was shocked when he finished a guy with a no arm triangle. So with a regular triangle, my leg is choking one side of Dane and his arm is choking the other side. With a no arm triangle, we don't have anything here, so my arm has to fill the space. We're gonna put the sharp part of the forearm, the wrist right here, right against the carotid artery. We're gonna close off the space here. We don't wanna close the triangle like this. We're gonna make this nice and tight. If you need the other hand, you can pull the leg across you want your heel right on top of his shoulder here. So not back towards the middle of his back, but across his shoulder. We're gonna flex the toes here. I'm not gonna point the toes, but flex them. That makes the triangle tighter. I'm gonna close it off. And now I'm gonna drop him into this forearm. If I need the other arm, I can pull that in for extra effort. So again, keeping heels heavy, keeping my hips on the floor. If he pulls me up, we have to back up a little bit and get the hips back on the floor. Now the opposite side, I'm reaching across, bringing my leg across, closing off the space, making this nice and tight. Bringing the other leg across. If I see anybody finish a triangle with toes pointed, I know that it could be tighter. So by flexing the toes, this makes your calf tighter, puts a little more pressure on the triangle. Now instead of staying right here, I'm gonna drop him this way. This puts more pressure on the arm side of the triangle. And if we need extra pressure, I can pull on the back of his head. One last time in real time. All right, guys, check that out. Add it to your training and let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching Friday Night Nogi. We'll see you next time.